Hi, welcome to the Purple Outhouse. I'm just doing a flip through of a couple of journals that I have made over about the past four days. Um, we might start with the little one. So the little one is for a challenge in a Facebook group called Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters and it's Nat's embellishment challenge. And we had to make a mini journal and we had to use paint, embossing and scraps. So I've um, just used a piece of old sort of twine and I've used a, um, I think it was a Cadbury cocoa box and I've just covered it with um, scraps and then one of the titles, um, sorry, the chapter was Gentleness Speaks and I just love that. So it's a very simple cover. I think there are eight pages um, in, the, in the mini journal and um, a lot of the pages are, are inks and so when I've, um, my last project that I did, any leftover inks, I just um, grabbed a book page and sort of soaked up the inks with the book page. So that's, that's what these pages are and there are a couple that are acrylic paints as well. I have done a lot of stitching around this. Um, where the old book page folded it cracked so I've lined um, you know it with coffee paper or paper bag and I have got five little tags in this as well so I got the the tags from the op shop last week so I've, I've used lots of the the words and the the tags I had such a great time with the tags they were a um, you know a craft color and what I did was mix some acrylic paints with some gel medium and then I tore some tea bags and, and glued that over. And then the white is actually a tea bag that I had uh, dipped in some watered down gesso to, to soak it up. And then I put it through the embossing folder and I just really love the, the effect of that and, and super easy too tea bag on the on the book page a whole load of um, writing spots in this I don't know whether it's it's terribly practical unless you had teeny tiny hands and writing and a pen um, I certainly wouldn't be able to write in this and this one doesn't um, hasn't gone through the embossing folder the background is an acrylic paint And this one, a different embossing folder. And it was just great fun using scraps, using um, lots of those, those little ones and that you'd usually, usually put in the bin. And then I've got a, like a painty paper and I did a couple of leaf prints there of a chrysanthemum leaf. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stitching. And then on this one, the butterfly, I actually used Patina um, Effect Paste. I, I have used on, on that and that's the first time I've used it and I just really love the effect of it. It's a little sort of tiny, tiny tuck. Charged. Journal and fun. So that was a, a super fun project to make that and just some scrap, some scrap um, like fabric sampler and I have an announcement. So I have um, cracked my 100 subscribers on YouTube and I'm just thrilled to pieces over it and so what I'm doing is Besides, um, you know, fusticating, trying to get this tie on properly, I'm doing a giveaway. So the bird journal that you saw before, which I'm going to do a flip through, uh, that is first prize and the mini journal is a second prize. So what I would like you to do, of course, is be a subscriber, like the video and the question I'm asking is, what is your most unusual piece that you've ever put in a junk journal? And yeah, I, I'd, I'd love to know the answer to that. 
So what I'm doing is um, the 30th of June is the end date, but I won't be drawing it until the afternoon on the 1st of July, and that allows for anyone overseas with the, the time difference that um, yeah, they'll, they'll be able to still sort of enter. And I, I covered a cereal box for this one with, with scraps and um, this lovely piece of sort of lacy on here was gifted to me from the lovely Carol McCann. Hi Carol! And yeah, I absolutely love it. And so it's a detachable one. And yeah, it's scraps on a cereal box and I have put some fabric just sort of over the back and spine and I've used some lovely distress inks um, dried marigold and peacock feathers and then I've used a couple of the waxes as well one's called peacock and one's called white gold and just great fun to play with them um, lots of lots of stitching around it as well not I think this is about eight pages I think they're both about eight pages I'm not sure but I have lined the, the inside cover with a parsley dyed printer paper and then have done the coffee, coffee splotches. Very simple tag, so whoever wins it, they can embellish as they like. And a couple of quite bright inky papers that I've put some coffee dyed baking paper over and I, I just love the sound of it. So when, when I coffee dye my paper, um, I put it in a tray, in a pile, and I put baking paper underneath so it doesn't stick to the tray. And I, I love to be able to, to use that in a journal somewhere. This is probably my favourite, favourite page. Um, a, a lot of inking and waxes, of course, some gesso, uh, stenciling, a couple of different stencils on this one. And I've used some little tiny scraps because when I use my guillotine, I always seem to have these little tiny scraps that I put in the bin. And this time I thought that I, I would try using them. And then I've used some distressed crayon behind and a little bit of watered down gesso, sort of smushing it around with the, the brush to try and create a bit of a highlight there behind the birds and old doily and then I have also sewn it on and yeah that is definitely my favorite page in the journal so the um, there's two pages like that that I have used watercolor paper and I have backed both of them because they're they're a bit flimsy lots of scraps love the um, the age of those bookend pages and then I've used my last gum leaf leaf print and it could be used as a tuck as well. I had some leftover paper from lining the inside so I've just put some ink and stenciling, a little music paper pocket and this was a challenge we had a while back and I it's actually an English French um, flashcard and I've put it through the embossing folder and then I've cut that out and it's, it's a bit like a beach hut but it looks really similar to my purple outhouse and that's sort of quite a special piece to me so that's why I've included it and then I have a tag on the other side so on the back of the tag I've just added a little bit of book page so that you didn't just see the the craft colored cardstock it sort of looked quite um, a lot better with adding a bit of book page to that and that is part of the um, front cover of, of a songbook and very simple I really love the the stamp on it and, and the stamping and you know I haven't cut it into a tag shape either so there's a few different things that whoever wins the journal what they can do and um, a little um, flower I've cut out from I think it was from a, a top and I've and I've coffee dyed it. So my next one I added um, some of these papers that you, you get from the photo albums that they have between the pages. And the reason I added this was um, the ink were, was coming off this page. 
and you know it's it's left an imprint and I don't dislike that on pages but I didn't really want it over sort of any any pieces that I'd made and the the paper is very flimsy and it's already started tearing so I've just gone in with a couple of um, scrap strips and have glued them on just to give it a little bit more structure so I'll know for, for next time to actually put it over the, the, the middle section of it. And a gorgeous Kingfisher. The paper bag I put down on an acetate sheet to pick up the, um, the gesso and it's sort of got all these little lines through it. And I, yeah, it's a little bit creepy, but I like it. Um, Uh, baking paper, just scraps, words from a paper bag, the great outdoors and gracefully was on this piece of music paper and I uh, just I really really love this bird, I always want to go pat it. Um, it's yeah, ink, stencil, stamping, waxes on that one and then I have backed that with paper bag. And then this was the piece that I actually cut off my original cover and this is for um, a challenge in PPCC and it's Jeanette, Jeanette who's the crafty dork and her mixed media and yeah I absolutely love that tag and that um, dried marigold it's, it's just delicious so I, I absolutely love these colors and as you can see you know bits of um, wax and, and inks and things are, are coming off but um, it, it's a junk journal that's that's the whole thing it's not meant to be perfect um, so I've got that little tuck at the back but I've got nothing in it and then this um, juvenile magpie who I just think is so cute and then I came across a book page with bird eggs and the one on the left has a tea bag on it so I just wanted to show you side by side the same page and the different effects that you can get and then I have done nothing with this piece and I thought that whoever wins it can um, you know, do, do what they want with it. Um, on the other side, I've actually cut one of the eggs and I, I, I like that. Um, so that's why I've left that just as it is. And then my center page was some packaging and I don't know whether it's the, the correct term, but I call it butcher's paper. And I put two layers together and glued them and then ran it through the embossing folder. And so in my center page, I have then glued together so that's hiding the knot. And then I've got another little envelope from my, my inked papers. And I've put a uh, paper bag to um, secure where it cracked. And I wanted the Ipswich to show because that's where I'm living. I've popped some texture paste on it and the ink was still wet and so you get that gorgeous colour that's sort of um, it's soaked up into the white um, texture paste and yeah I, I just love that and then I've put a special piece in here and seeing I've got already got a, a gum leaf leaf print I've popped this altered playing card in because it's one of my favourite pieces that I've made I love the fact that there's actually a koala howling at the moon, which is just odd in itself. But I just love the fact that this one's just in stitches. And yeah, it just brings a smile to my face every, so every time I, I see that. And so I thought that I, I would pop that in this journal and, and maybe it would bring a smile to the person's face who, who receives it. And then I've got a little top tuck, a um, music piece but I haven't backed it. So there's, um, you know, opportunity to do something with it. And then this is probably one of the most unusual things that I have put in a journal. So I have made a faux slide and it's actually an X-ray that I have die cut. And it just tickles my sense of humor that it's an X-ray die cut, gingerbread man faux specimen slide. And uh, it, that brings a smile to my face as well. So, you know, it's sort of, sort of hidden in there as well. Um, 
Another little birdie page, bit of tea bag, bit of um, a box there that I've flattened. Um, word was from um, a scrap music sheet. And then this one, I have actually put this gorgeous feather in and it oh, just feels divine. I'll have to find out whether if the winner is overseas, whether posting a feather is allowed. Um, you know, I can always take it out. And then I've popped a tea bag on some packaging. I've, um, the lines are stamps and um, some inks that have just been spread around with a baby wipe. A little uh, fabric -y skeleton leaf, I suppose you could call it. And I don't know whether it's showing it up, but it's, it is actually purple. Um, just a little bit of ink on the edge of that, just to sort of try and tie the, the purple in. I've paper clipped this one because I couldn't really make a decision if I wanted to glue it or not or put it in a pocket. So I've left that there so who wins will be able to make a decision. Um, you know what they want to do with it and then I have sewn a doily on this page just because I could I think um, all my birdies just all they all face to the right and I wanted something that faced to the left but my bird book hasn't got anything and um, I thought that a hummingbird would look really really cool on this but I couldn't find a hummingbird so I've left it as it is and yeah that way um, if you know who who gets it doesn't like it they they can always change that so that's my my giveaway and i just want to thank all the um subscribers that have have stuck with me i appreciate your support so much and really appreciate it when when you comment on on videos as well and um, I know that I'm not terribly regular with doing videos and I, I basically just do them, um, you know, when I, when I feel like it and people have stuck with me, which is wonderful. So thank you very much. And that was a really, really bad bow. And yeah, open till 30th of June and I'll draw it on the 1st of July afternoon my time and um, your most unusual thing that you have put in a junk journal. So thanks for, for watching and um, happy crafting. Bye.